Mila Kunis sits down to reveal the grossest thing she's ever done in her entire career and why it was totally worth it. We've got a video, don't go anywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to Clever News. So I can pretty much assume that you guys are super stoked for the release of Ted, you know, the Seth MacFarlane flick about a vulgar, slacker, inappropriate teddy bear? Well, we've got one of the stars of the film, Mila Kunis, sitting down to talk about her experience working on the movie. She's worked with Seth MacFarlane for years on Family Guy, but on this film, he really made her take things to a whole new level. Check out what he asked her to do. Cleaning up human shit on the floor. That pretty much took the, took the, took the height of our friendship. I go, yes, sir. Yeah, do you I have to? I have no choice. He is my boss. <laughs> no, you know what, I trust Seth and I trust him in humor. I really do, I do, I really do. He knows funny. And sometimes I'll be like, you're wrong. He's not, he's always right, just don't tell him that because then he'll get mad. And as far as Mila's character Lori is concerned, it sounds like she and Seth worked really well together, making sure that Lori was balanced. My biggest concern for every rewrite that I ever read was I didn't want her to be nagging. I didn't need her to be one of the guys. I just didn't need her to be nagging. Um, I do believe that there's a happy medium. Like, not all women are like beer drinking, football loving women, and not all women are like, meh, nah, 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 nah. You know, there are some that are like halfway in. So I was like, I want to do this. And I'm like, you're gonna have to help me. And he was like, okay. And he did. He trusted me, and I trusted him. And, um, and then, you know, Lori was born. And at the end of the day, it seems like it's fair to say if you're a Family Guy fan, you're really gonna love Ted. Everybody from Family Guy is in this movie. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Seth was smart because he, I think, surrounded himself with people he trusts and people he likes and people that he has a shorthand with and people that he respects that respect him back and, and ev who have all, everybody did it for the right reasons. Everybody knew about this film for so long and, and supported McFarlane and his desire to make Ted for so long that I think we were all just very excited and very proud of him to just be able to do it. Oh. Laurie, hey, you're home early. Who are these girls? Oh, my God, where are my manners? Laurie, this is Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. I swear to God, her name is Sauvignon Blanc. Show you a Chevron cut. Ted hits theaters on June 29th. Make sure to keep a lookout for this flick because it sounds like it's gonna be one of the funniest ones we see all summer long. For now though, let's have some fun in the comments section. We know that Ted is Mark Wahlberg's character's best friend and they hang out all the time. So if you could reincarnate yourself into a stuffed animal and be best friends with any celebrity, who would it be and why? I think I personally would be a koala bear and I totally wanna hang out with Beyonce and Jay-Z and little Blue Ivy Carter all day long, but it's all up to you. Vote for your pick below in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. We're your top spot for what's hot in entertainment. In Hollywood, I'm Deidre Behar. Thanks for tuning in.